The Andy of our people are an ethno-linguistic group native to Dagestan, a republic in the North Caucasus region of modern-day Russia. They are part of the larger Nakhdagestanian language family, which is known for its complex grammatical structures and deep historical roots in the Caucasus. Among their closest linguistic and genetics relatives are speakers of other Avar, Andic, and Tsezic languages, such as the Dargans, Lesgians, and Loks, all of whom share a common cultural and historical heritage within the mountainous terrain of Dagestan. The Caucasian Avars were traditionally pastoralists and agriculturalists, living in tightly knit village communities and adhering to customary laws and practices. During the 16th and early 17th centuries, parts of Dagestan, including Andy of our lands, were incorporated into the Safavid Empire. Persian influence brought elements of Islamic scholarship, architecture, and trade to the region, which strengthened the Islamic identity of the Andy of our people. The incorporation of Dagestan into the Russian Empire began in the early 19th century, following prolonged resistance by the mountain peoples under leaders such as Imam Shamil. Imam Shamil, an Avar leader, spearheaded the Caucasian Imamate and led a fierce resistance against Russian encroachment during the Caucasian War, 1817-1864. His leadership and valor made him a symbol of anti-colonial struggle. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, efforts to Russify the Andy Avar people intensified. These included the promotion of the Russian language, suppression of local customs, and attempts to weaken Islamic institutions that were integral to the cultural identity of the Andy Avar and other Dagestani peoples. Despite these pressures, the Andy Avar retained their distinct identity through their language, oral traditions, and community cohesion. For this video, I gathered the genomes of 24 Dagestani natives belonging to the Botlik and Godaberry sub-ethnos of Dagestani Avars. I took the samples from a 2024 study called Genetic Variation in Four Highland Populations in the Context of Broader Genetic Diversity in Dagestan. QP admixture analysis shows these people have significant admixture from Proto-Indo-European steppe pastoralists and Caucasus hunter-gatherers. Global 25 shows they were similar to other ethnicities of Dagestan. I ran the samples through my trait predictor tool for DNA analysis, which you can purchase from link in description. The most common predicted phenotype was East Alpinid, followed by Ponid. Some samples scored Volgid, Indonordid, Corded Nordid, and even Halstadt phenotypes. Here is a morph of the average phenotype. The most common eye color was brown, followed by hazel, but there were also samples with blue and green eyes. No sample scored dark brown as their predicted eye color. The most common predicted hair color was dark brown, but two samples scored dark blonde as their hair color, two samples scored light brown, and two samples scored black as their hair color. The most common skin color was olive, but three samples scored white as their skin tone, and two samples scored light brown as their predicted skin tone. The most common predicted hair texture was wavy, followed by curly. But there were people with straight and kinky hair too. Regarding nose shapes, almost every sample was predicted to have a Greek-shaped nose with three exceptions. Regarding male pattern baldness, most samples had a high predisposition to androgenic hair loss, and no samples had below average predisposition to it. Regarding height, most samples had intermediate height with five samples scoring significantly below average height, and two samples scoring significantly above average height. Regarding their dopaminergic profile, the Dagestanis had a strong predisposition to the warrior phenotype, marked by low dopamine levels and high stress resilience. The Dagestani samples had an average predisposition to autism overall. Three samples had fewer D2 receptor sites and one sample had more. The samples had a low predisposition to bipolar 1 and schizophrenia. The samples had an average predisposition to ADHD overall. The samples had an average predisposition to cardiovascular issues overall. 15 out of 24 samples carried European variants for lactase persistence and were lactase persistent. The Dagestani samples had a strong predisposition to higher levels of empathy overall. Regarding their athletic abilities, the sprinter allele in ACTN3's R577X are 577X was more common in these Dagestanis than in European average, suggesting they had higher athletic abilities than other European populations. The Dagestani Avars had lower odds of epithelial cancer. 
The Dagestani Avars had average predisposition to autoimmune disease on the basis of HLA genotypes. Three samples carried HLA DRB1 risk variants for multiple sclerosis, showing that multiple sclerosis risk variants were less common in Dagestan than in Northern Europe. However, the Dagestanis had a strong predisposition to type 1 diabetes, which they share with other Europeans. The Dagestanis had average predisposition to hemoglobin E disease, with the majority of the samples carrying risk variants for it. Every sample had intermediate odds of obesity. The Dagestanis had an average predisposition to syncope. The Dagestanis had a strong predisposition to higher levels of bad LDL cholesterol. Hemochromatosis variants were also very common among Dagestanis, with six samples out of 24 scoring significantly elevated iron levels and showing a predisposition to hemochromatosis. The Dagestanis had average telomere lengths. The most common blood type among this group was type O, followed by type B, and then type A. Thank you for watching my video until the end. Don't forget to like and share if you enjoyed it.